Hello and today, hello and today I'm going to show you how to root your HTC One X. Um, this has been previously rooted and has been flashed back to stock, but now I'm going to show you how to root it again. Uh, things you will need are the One X All-in-One Toolkit, which can be found on XTA Developers. I'll also link. I'll also put a link in the description. You'll also need the fastboot flasher. That's only if you want to install custom ROMs and things, but it's not necessary. But I thought if you once you root your phone, you want to do that. Um, anything. Anyway, let's uh, open up the toolkit. You want uh, once you double click on the zip, you right click and click Run as administrator. So this will pop up. Just say yes for now. And you will have this toolkit. Now, this toolkit allows you to install the HTC drivers, register at HTC Dev, and you can get the token ID. You can also flash a kernel, boot into booter, and all the other things. For now, what we are going to be doing is, uh, what we are going to be doing is to flash or actually unlock the bootloader. Now, to unlock the bootloader. Uh, let's just click um, actually install HTC drivers this will install HTC driver uh, as you can see it's not compatible with Windows 8 it's fine we don't need to actually it's trying to install it and we'll see what happens yeah as you can see it says it's not supported but it's fine it's it's not gonna make a big difference anyway um, register at HTC Dev. Uh, it says this will open HTC Dev. Make sure you have a valid email address. After you make an account, please leave the web browser open. So let's just click OK. Um, I think the developer has just in to make some income from the toolkit. He's placed ads. Uh, you can just skip the ad, and it should take you to this website. As you can see, I'm already registered, and I have everything so I'm just gonna leave it there uh, we can minimize that and actually he wants us to leave it there let's open up the toolkit so next is get token ID so we'll click go so this pops up um, as you can see this will take your token ID make sure USB debugging is enabled make sure you you will have two screens when your phone is in bootloader so to go in USB debugging what we're going to do is uh, go in swipe down settings uh, scroll down to developer options it's gonna say this may make changes to your phone which you don't want uh, so we'll just click OK um, as you can see USB debugging is checked on you could focus on that I'm not sure if the camera wants to focus. Um, can you focus? Yeah. Yeah, we can see that it's debugging is on. Um, and yeah, as you can see, the developer option is also on. If you can see that there. My camera. Okay. Uh, so we we'll just press back. Uh, go back to the home screen. So, see, so all you have to do is just click OK. And this command prompt window will start. Um, as you can see, it's trying to communicate with the phone. So we just have to wait and see what happens. As you can see, it's trying to access all the data from the toolkit files. Uh, our phone is now gone into the bootloader. We didn't do anything. It's automatically gone into the bootloader. And we we'll just wait, see what happens. Actually, my phone already has an unlocked bootloader. Or has it unlocked it for me? I'm not sure. 
we'll close this oh as you can see so this is what you get um, you can always copy this and go back to the HTC dev to unlock the bootloader um, if you go to unlock bootloader get started and select your device uh, as of now there isn't any option for HTC one X so you just have to click all other supported model which is at the last page last of the at the bottom of the list um, it's gonna ask you that you know you unlock the bootloader the new audio RT and um, you know if something goes wrong HTC isn't responsible so do you wish to continue just click yes um, another legal term pops up so just check the boxes proceed to unlock instructions um, as you can see these are we've act, we don't actually have because the HTC one doesn't have a battery so you don't really have to do this um, as you can see the toolkit already took us into the bootloader mode so we don't have to do that uh, we also don't need to install the drivers this is simply if you're a developer and you want to like tinker with your phone so this is what we got uh, as you can see with the command prompt if I can find it this is what we got that's the uh, unlock code uh, all you have to do is copy it uh, so once you copy it you have to copy it from where it says identify a token start with the arrows all the way to the end so once you copy that since it will look something like this you just paste it there and once you click submit you they will send you an email with an unlock code dot bin uh, after that you just have to place it in the 1x uh, this uh, you have to just make sure that you just put it there so the program can see and unlock it and it should hopefully unlock your bootloader um, bear in mind unlocking your bootloader will uh, uh, void your will actually delete everything so you just have to be uh, just have to back up everything um, yeah um, as you can see the bootloader is now unlocked it should say unlocked at the top in pink yeah it, it should say unlocked um, next thing you want to do is to flash a kernel now I would personally choose 12 recovery as it's much easier to use and you know I you can always use clockwork mod but I'm gonna choose 12 recovery um, click flash recovery so it's gonna say make your USB debugging is enabled please be in bootloader with your fast boot showing so as you can see fast it says on the right it says fast boot USB yeah it says fast boot USB uh, so we just click OK on the toolkit and uh, command prompt window which says device not found. Okay, so let's just click H boot again. You can see something. There was a sound, so let's just click fast boot USB. Close this. As you can see, it's sending recovery, and it's done it already. So you can close that, and on our phone we can go to H press H choose H boot again um, press that again once that happens you can scroll down as you can see you can scroll down using the volume button so just go to where it says recovery press it and hopefully you should be you should boot up into the torque recovery which we just flashed As you can see it's got team win that's 12 recovery as you can see it says twrp 12 recovery and uh, there you go so you have now got a custom recovery so all you have to do now is you can just um, you can back up your current ROM so you can always back up your recovery cache and everything so you can just swipe to backup 
uh, once you back up you can if you want to install any custom ROMs and things uh, just simply plug your phone in while everything is on or you can always mount your phone so if you press mount USB as you can see something should come up as you can see the computer has recognized and once you click on it you can select open folder to view files and here as you can see these are all the files on the phone you can just say for example this is a um, ROM for the Nexus 4 I'm just showing you an example you can just simply drag it in and just drop it um, it should like start uh, because ROMs are pretty big depending on what which one you choose so uh, but always remember don't flash a different ROM from a different device because it might ruin your device and I'm not responsible for that so um, once you have done that you can just simply close this uh, window and just on your phone click unmount so it's no longer communicating with the computer um, you can then press back you then press back and if you choose install you should be able to find the as you can see the zip file which you just transferred um, you can just tap on it and just swipe to flash so then it will flash the ROM um, also one thing to note is when you're flashing ROMs you have to make sure that you flash the boot.img um, as you can see if I open this one here you can see this is a boot.img I am as I previously said you can also use this fa fast boot flasher toolkit uh, which I'll have a link in the description um, you just double click on that and say for example every time you install a zip or rom zip onto your computer you will have this boot.img um, the best thing to do is simply just copy that onto uh, the toolkit so i double click boot img and then i transfer the boot img from the zip rom zip to the toolkit so it's pretty easy all you have to do is double click on the run me um, as you can see you can install recovery you can uh, install boot.img you can clear cache and everything um, installing boot.img so you print simply press 2 on your keyboard and it will start flashing the boot.img and then you can simply install the ROM through the recovery and you're ready to go so thanks again for watching and if you have any questions or if you're stuck on something just uh, give me a comment leave a comment or you can always uh, send me a message while on YouTube and I hope you enjoy this video and uh, please don't forget to like it and uh, yeah see you soon thanks